Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to do a review of the Rex Envoy. Just a quick, couple quick specs about it. The Rex Envoy is a double edge razor. It is what your grandfather would have used to shave. The length of it overall is 3.3 inches or 88.5 millimeters. The handle itself is 3 inches which is 77 millimeters. It is oh, has a weight of 3.73 ounces or 106 grams. The blade gap on it is 0 0.025 inches, so 25 thousandths of an inch. Now, it does have some options with it, and Rex, Rex, which is made by Razor Emporium, by some is seen as, some people see it as a high-end razor company, some people see it as basically an imposture. Um, personally, I do see that they have some really nice razors. The Envoy itself is $125. That is here in the U.S. Um, it does come with some options that are additional. You can get a black walnut and leather case for it. It's really nice. I will include pictures of the stand and the case I'm talking about. But that leather and black walnut case is $100. Um, it does have a stainless steel stand that, as I will show you in the bottom of the razor, there is a place to slip it onto the stand. And that is $50. Um, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get this unbox for you so you guys have a look at it and then uh, I'll go for a shave with it. So I'll be back when I'm ready for that. Alright guys, here it is. Here is the Rex Envoy. So let me get this unbox for you guys so you can see it. Just real quick, I did get it from Maggard Razors. They are where I get almost all of my shaving supplies from. Um, I've ordered so much stuff from them and I've always had really good luck with them. Customer support wise, I have had to, I did order a, uh, one of their versions of a razor head, a semi-aggressive razor head, and I, it was pretty terrible, but the customer service was awesome. Like, they refunded me without any, any questions at all. So, if you ever do have any issues with them, just email them and ask them what's going on. Let me get this out for you guys. And here is what it comes in. It is the Rex Supply Co. That's the name of the company. That's the little cardboard box. And has some, <laughs> it's like turquoise paper in there. Here is a little Lato warranty notice on it. And then here's the razor itself. Uh, just initial handle impressions. Wow, this knurling is really sharp. Um, that's really, really, like, it's not so sharp it's going to cut you, but, like, that's really nice. Not to open it, you just twist this bottom. <laughs> Better I edit that out. <laughs> and also, to just to open it, it is a three-piece razor, so you just undo this bottom handle right here. On the Rex Ambassador, which is a $250, it, is this an adjustable razor? This actually does something to open it. And here is the top cap and the base plate. Now, on Rex and Master, on the Rex and Razor, sorry, um, they all are serialized like the old Gillettes. And that very last, the uh, OP2, um, I, I forget how, how the date codes work, but it's coded like the Gillettes. I believe P is 2020. Um, I am most likely going to be reviewing the Ambassador when it gets released. The release date is two days from now. Today's the 20th. Um, but just looking at it, first impressions, the machining on it is really nice, actually. We'll separate it. It does have the horizontal tabs. And there is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is machining oil on it to help with the rust. This is stainless steel. So with that said, that is the unboxing part. Um, so the initial impressions, for $125, I do think that it is pretty nice. And I'll be back for the shaving part in just a minute after I shower. All right, guys, I'm back. So I took my shower. Got the whiskers nice and hydrated. So while I'm lathering up with it, with my soap, I do just want to kind of tell you guys that I did actually shave with it in the shower. Um, I do shave my arms. And I will share those experiences with you as I'm shaving. I do have about... 
three or four days worth of beard growth. I will be doing a single pass shave and clear the eyebrows. So my blade out and uh, get this started. One thing I do want to mention before I dig into this is in the shower when I was shaving with it, if there's ever razor you're not going to drop due to the knurling, this is it. <laughs> it's really awesome as far as knurling goes. Um, now to put the blade in, you see there's those little post holes there. What I do is, this is a fresh feather blade by the way, I put it over the, the actual post itself. You're not going to be able to see it. And then it goes over like that. Make sure that it's pushed all over that post. I put my, my, my base plate on and on here there's a recessed hole. Not every razor has it. And you also notice that it's also recessed right there. So you put it in like that. And then you should be good to go. Always when you go to shave, run your blade under hot water. You don't want a cold blade on your face. So, so with that said, I'm gonna use my initial impression as I go. Um, off the bat, I did not assist in the shower. It is on the more aggressive side when it comes to blade exposure. Um, so if you are new to wet shaving with a double edge, I would not recommend this razor. If you are sensitive to blade exposure or skin irritation because of razors, I would probably avoid this. Um, I will be doing better close-ups of the razor and pictures when I'm done. That way you guys can see it much better. If the pictures will turn out good, I won't do it. I will say that I normally use stripe razors on my face. I only use double edge razors in the shower um, just because straight razors give me a better shave. I have been straight, I have been shaving for about three years now. Um, maybe twice ever with a shirt on. <laughs> um, but so far, like I said, with the, with the first pass done, I gotta say that again, it is blade exposure heavy. Um, the blade gap, being how it's only 25 thousandths of an inch, this is a terrible lather by the way, I didn't put much effort into it. Um, being how it is 25 thousandths of an inch, it is prone to clogging. My, I had, my arms, they were about four days worth of growth, no issues. So far in here, I haven't noticed any clogging with it. I did like shave a patch on me that was like three weeks worth of growth. It clogged instantly and it was, a, it was impossible. I had to take the razor apart to clean it out because as you can see, it is going to clog really quick. It's like, it's just so tiny of a blade gap. Um, but the blade exposure again, it will help with coarse beards. Um, I personally find razors that have a lot of blade exposure to be good with coarse beards and getting in the little nooks and crannies on your face. So they'll have right here that they have that width. Um, also, I do notice some drag when you get the size of that head. Let me rinse it off for you. When you get the size of that head, that best plate is huge. There's a lot of surface area there. Um, it does have some drag. Is that the, the end of the world? No. Um, so other than it being moderately aggressive, blade exposure wise, I have a Parker variant. It is equivalent to two. It literally is. But the variant has much more blade gap. 
which is nicer for if you have a thicker beard, like fuller, not thicker, of course, for not clogging and being easier to rinse out. This thing would be for like, I'd say you could probably get away with um, probably a week or so worth of growth. Any more than that, you may run into issues. Um, again, build quality wise, I think it is. It feels much more expensive than $125. So, so what I said, there's my quick toothpaste shave. Um, if, you have, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down in the comments and let me know. The closest of the shave, it's not bad. Um, I personally do prefer more aggressive razors. I personally have a razors ranging from really mild um, to the, the Icon Tech, which is, if you know anything about that razor, it's got a lot of late exposure. Um, and again, this razor I would recommend for someone who really knows what they're doing with a razor. And just because you do have issues with skin irritation because of cartridge razors or disposable razors, it is different with double razors, so don't think that just because it's you may have ir irritation with shaving that it's going to be because of the double edge's fault. If you shave a cartridge razor, it's going to be irritation. There's a lot of research behind why they do, why they have such issues with cartridges and, and disposables, but I personally have issues with on the neck here with them, and when I switch to double edge. I don't have near as much issues, but I get my best shaves with a straight razor. So with that said, um, you guys have any you know, you any questions, put them in the comments. Anything you want me to review or try, experiment with, put them down there. And then, if that's all, then uh, I thank you guys for watching. Have a great night.